The first thing you're going to want to do in the installation process for OpenVAS is run an update on your system and a distribution upgrade. You do this by typing apt-get updates and passing another parameter apt-get distribution upgrade and force the parameter with a minus yes. If you have the issue that I have on the screen, it means that your repository list isn't updated correctly. I'm going to attach a link in your troubleshooting guide, but if you want to follow the steps, you can do that as well. Open up a browser and type in sources, package, not found, and Kali. We're going to go to the LinkedIn link, unable to locate package. If you scroll down, you will see that there is a list of repositories that we're going to put into our sources.lst. Copy this list and then open up your favorite text editor, mine is nano. Browse to Etsy, apt, sources.list, paste in the repositories and close your editor. Now, if you're on an apt-get updates and distribution upgrade, you'll see that it's working. This might take a while to complete. Kali is now rolling release, meaning that you can update to the current version from any version of Kali rolling. However, there are release numbers, but these are point in time versions of Kali rolling for VMware snapshots. You can update to the current stable release from any VMware images as well. Remember to reboot your Kali VM once the update has completed. Next, we're going to run apt-get install openmass and then it will prompt you a yes or a no in this case we're going to say yes next up you're going to see the latest release notes you can just press q for quit Once the update has completed, you can type in openvas-setup. It is going to generate all the self-signed certs, your password, and download all of the latest NVT syncs from the openvas servers. This might take a while as well. It is extremely important to note your password once the OpenVAS installation has been completed. If you do not store this password, you will run into issues when you log in for the first time. I will show you how to change your password at a later stage as well. Before we can log into our OpenVAS instance, let's first verify if our services are running. We can do this by running netstat minus TULPN. We can see that our services are indeed running. If your services are not running, you can manually start the OpenVAS services by typing OpenVAS-start and this will start all the OpenVAS services. You can retype the command to verify whether your services are running now. Next, what we need to do is we need to log into our OpenVAS instance. We are going to copy the 127.0.0.1 with the port and we're going to paste it into our browser after typing HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash localhost and the, uh, the port. You'll need to accept the self-signed certificate and log into the application using the credentials admin and the password displayed during the OpenVAS setup. 